A New Mexico Fire Department found itself addressing something that happened to a firefighter across the country. Tonight, News 13's Merce Lucero tells us why the local department is now trying to get its name out of a national scandal. It was Sandoval City versus Sandoval County, and they are on the other side of the United States. Over the weekend and halfway across the country, people heard about Jason Egan, the volunteer firefighter in the village of Sandoval, Illinois. It's my dream to become a firefighter. We could be having dinner and he's going to go to the fire department and eat dinner with them. Kristen says her 33-year-old brother with Down syndrome has been a volunteer firefighter since 2016, but recently quit because she says he was bullied by two fellow firefighters. They would um, erase his name off of the board, his numbers and stuff, saying how many calls he's been on. One of the guys had got up to leave one day and he said, oh, I got to go. The effing I'm not going to say that word. Retard is coming. Kristen posted to Facebook that resulted in a lot of backlash, even for the Sandoval County Fire Department here in New Mexico. People got the two departments mixed up. Fire service bullying is not a value that we have. The messages prompted the department here to respond on Facebook, saying even though the incident didn't happen in New Mexico, Sandoval County Fire doesn't tolerate bullying, especially for a department that knows what it's like to depend on volunteers like Jason. I certainly hope that he will continue his fire service career. If he can't do it uh, where he was, hopefully another department will be able to help him uh, be part of their family. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. As of tonight, Jason's sister says the Sandoval Village Fire Department in Illinois did offer Jason his job back. She says the family will meet with the department first.